What's up, everybody? Welcome to Make Custom Unleashed. Guess where I am? Bennett's Customs in Dunsborough, Australia, hanging out with my buddy Jordan, Ben, Josh. Uh, yeah, just super happy to be here. The weather is absolutely stunning. We're gonna have a, a car show this weekend, the Australian Street Rod Federation Nationals. That's what we're going to in Mundra. Um, so we're kind of getting ready for that. And then next weekend, we're having a metal shaping class here at Bennett's. So, uh, so grateful. We sold out the class to uh, a bunch of great people. I can't wait to meet them. And so we've got a bit of prep to do for that. Check this thing out. You've seen it on Bennett's Customs channel, I'm sure. But if you haven't, go check them out. Bennett's Customs on YouTube. They're putting a three-cylinder radial engine in this bus, which is nuts. This thing's absolutely beautiful. Nine-passenger Volkswagen van. I'm not sure what year it is, but uh, it's an early split window van and uh, the wide five bolt pattern. I tell you, this is paradise out here. We just went for a swim in the ocean last night, got to hang out with the fam. We got Ben over here, Jordan. Jo up, hey. 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 Going for a skin, bud. This episode, I'm going to Japan. We are in Australia. We're going on a little ride tomorrow. This place is insane. A little more subtle, but very custom. I'm having fun. Me too. What kind of wood is this again? Jera. 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 World's heaviest wood. You drop it on the ground, it sounds like, like it's iron. So right now we're making shaping stumps for the class this weekend and uh, I gotta make, I don't know how many of these things. I gotta do 26 pieces. Just chopping them all up, they're old fence posts and it's some kind of wicked hardwood. It's actually, actually super beautiful. Like back home, they'd be making cabinets out of this. This would not be fence posts. You know, this is like nice stuff. We'll go have a look at what Jordan's doing with the race car. I think he's putting the motor in right now. So uh, we'll give him a hand with that. What a day to work outside. Beautiful. We can get the 12 inches wide that we're normally getting, but we can't get the six inches this way without cutting it or using two by fours in conjunction with these. So cut a few two by fours down is next. I wanna carve out a shrinking stump so that when we go to um, do our demos at uh, ASRF, Nationals. We can show the Mother Tucker in all its glory, trying to teach people some simple metal shaping, which is what we love doing. I'm just tired, so I just keep talking. So I'm just gonna shut up and get to work some more. Why am I putting in footage of cleaning? Wouldn't put it in here, but I didn't think it was important. So I'm gonna sound like your mom for a second. If your shop's dirty, and you're not getting stuff done in your project, the first thing that you should be doing to reignite your motivation is go clean the crap out of your shop. Organize everything. I'm talking like wipe the machines down, nothing on the floor, sweep the crap, blow out your whole shop. I guarantee, guarantee it. Every time I get like bogged down, that's what I do. I just clean everything, every inch. It doesn't feel like you're making any progress on your vehicle or your, whatever project you might be working on but all of a sudden you know where everything is again where all your parts are you've seen your project in a new space you've changed stuff up and it just makes such a huge difference into your motivation so that's my tip for the day
this is the solution is we got some spacers in here that are taking up that so that we can run our nylon plate. This, if you have not seen it before, is the Mother Tucker shrinking setup. We're gonna call it that. Um, Jordan actually has, I think my first ever Mother Tucker hammer. This is numero uno. We've since revised it and have a little bit nicer looking hammer that we're manufacturing now. This setup is available on the website. You even get a harsh grinding disc to grind the bowl. See how it's kind of rounded? Comes with all the hardware, the straps, so all you need to supply is the wood. I like doing a bit of a teardrop shape. It allows you to have like one little bit wider shape and then one little bit tighter, a little bit tighter spot. Think about a, a teardrop, basically like this, like the reverse of this almost. You know, you if that was in there, that's, that's what you want. I might even trace that or kind of close to it. Other beauty thing about those clamps, you don't even have to screw those pieces of wood together. Those clamps just, just hug it. Got a nice little teardrop shape in there. Now we gotta drill a couple pre-drills for this. Tag that down and we are done. Hey. Jordan! Where are your ugga dugga bits? Number three or four fills lips ugga dugga bits. They would be somewhere oh, in there. Ah, it's the dig drawer. Go for a dig. We did it. Load the rest of the stuff and go get a burger. Okay, light up the comments. Would you rather see these little guys? Or would you rather see the Greek god Zeus fastener? Zeus. But how good does that look with the polished louvers, man? Kind of. Dude! Well, it's never not gonna look good. It's gonna find the stuff. It looks fucking amazing. I think that that sets it off, man. Toss it. Does it, does it look too like. Toss it. I reckon we just do a nice little brass one. Nice little brass one? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Oh, Jesus. If you're in Dunsboro and you're a chiropractor, you wanna sponsor this guy? <laughs> He needs like a weekly chiropractor. <laughs> he is hurting today. Hurting. I tried to kick him in the back and it didn't work. Oh, what a song. He's got that up. <laughs> yeah. Pump up song. Here's your challenge for the midnight special. You want me to make one right now? I want you to make one. Challenge accepted. Let's get to work. Okay, so this video is uh, gonna be on the make a custom channel, not this one. Cause like we start off, we're prepping and stuff. So I'm actually gonna make something. So it's gonna go on the other channel. So go check out, make a custom. This was the challenge given to me is they don't like this thing anymore. I never liked it. So, um, oh. <laughs> ah. no. yeah, I told him that he just doesn't remember. You want to age the brass? I do. Okay. Well, it's his car and, and my opinion totally doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna make it. But you know what I saw? Okay, shout out to uh, Jasmine. I don't know what her last name is. Chaos Fabrication. Chaos. Chaos Fabrication, because um, I always do the wire buck template. 
but I saw her just like building up with like clumps of tape to get a flexible shape pattern. I thought it was genius. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, flip it over and actually build it up to what I think I'm gonna use as a template. That way I have a nice edge template of this. Other channel for that and rest of the prep's coming right now. Motor's going in. Got that forest green on there. Forest, this is British racing green with a touch of like early Jaguar as well. I kind of took two different mixings, put them together, added some black and went, okay, I like that. Getting ready to put some pipies on? Yeah, I'm getting them prepped. It was just a, kind of got a little neglected when we were been racing them to make them nice and clean and polished. So I am at the moment getting them into, trying just to polish the areas that are really hard to do when they're on the car. I like using the word romantic. It's it ro is romantic. It's very it's romantic. Word. It's a good word. I think when you see it like, sort of not direct sunlight, like when it's, Maybe like just before sunsets and you get that nice like hue over the sky. That's when it gets real romantic, but that's when the, the warm of the exhaust pipe really shows. So so Jordan's actually dating these exhaust yeah, pipes I'm, now. So as you can say, I'm, a, I'm a hopeless romantic. <laughs> and then we got Angus over here. How are you doing, Angus? What are you doing, Angus? Oh, putting the crank in in this Butthead. Oops. <laughs> getting it going. Yeah, he's getting the uh, crank put in. It's down at Southwest Automotive across the street. And it's just like a cool little complex of people that uh, do work out here. Everybody kind of scratches each other's backs. And so Angus is getting the crank put in, the old flathead. Putting in the old rope seal. Coming together. Yeah, it's looking good. Oh, you're going up. There you go. All loaded up. What do we got in here? We got a, uh, can you see it? Bringing a English wheel, a couple shrinker stretchers, courtesy of Heron Forbes. Thank you for that. We're gonna do a little demo out there. Those guys rock. So we got an early morning tomorrow, actually. We still got a few things to do. Battery's gonna die, but it is the morning of the show. We are getting ready to go. The car is on the trailer and Huddy's playing with the brakes. Aren't you, buddy? This is the cutest kid ever. What's your favorite thing? What's this? What's that? <laughs> we'll see you in Mundra. There's a, there's a Travis car right there. And there's a Travis car. Travis, we're coming for ya. Nice house. Hello. Hello. Should I just pull up right here, you reckon? Yeah. Okay. How the hell are you? Not bad. How are you? Good, good. Fashionably late as been man. Yeah. yeah. Good to I'll, see you. I'll pull up, get out of this bloody yeah. thing.
like we're going on a cruise. Drop the bomb. Let's go. Here with Jordan at the ASRF Nationals. I guess this is the uh, this is our little cruise stop, right? Yep. A little bit of lunch here. We are at Old Coast Brewing, Old Coast Road Brewing, I guess. Yeah, Old Coast Brewery, I think. Something Old like Co that. Yeah, off Old Coast Road. Yeah. yeah. Super cool, man. There's such good cars here. I already saw that bare metal 32. Oh, yeah. That little Roadster pickup is. It's kind of got my vote so far. But yeah, we're just gonna do a nice walk around, check out the cars. I think there's like 200 cars here. Everybody's having a beer, having a bit of lunch. So Ben built this basically sort of in closed door shop, didn't tell anybody about it, put it in a container and debuted it at the um, Yokohama show in Japan. No in way. 2018, I believe. Oh, check out this extended cab GMC too. It's got that Aussie Ute flavor. We are out of here. Thank you. What a time. This is hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, this thing with the blood on the chop. They let a couple of Canadians drive their cars. What's going on? How smart were they to let us drive this thing? So where's the burnouts? Yeah, I don't know. But Travis. Good try. You're in front of us. I don't know if you'll see. Jackson gave me. Jackson, can we do a burnout? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, we won't do that to your car. Nah, nah, nah. 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 Good morning. ASRF. Nationals. Here we are. We made it. Car's looking good. Everybody's excited. All the stuff's happening over there. The sun's up there. We don't need it. We don't need it so hot. It's pretty hot today. <laughs> yeah, we've got our SPF 50 on. Yeah. We don't, we don't fuck around here. Oh no. The sun is real cruel, cruel mistress. How's it going? Cool, cool. <laughs> it's going, it's going cool. 
<laughs> Kids are freaking. I asked out the Ford Transit right in the middle of the show, which is interesting. I mean, it's an absolute relic. It's, so it's probably because it's got really good fenders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This isn't supposed to be in the show. All right, the new 2022 Prado. It's been a bit of a day, a long day. <laughs> uh, we've already been up for, I don't know, 12 hours maybe. Oh. Had a great show, did uh, a bunch of cool stuff, met a lot of great people. We did. We and uh, looking forward to a bit of a dinner, a bit of a feed tonight. Yeah. Give away some trophies. And uh, if you ever get a chance to attend the uh, ASRF, they kind of bounce around to different provinces, or is it provinces? States. States, states in uh, Australia. So once every six years, they're in the same state. So uh, definitely check it out. Well, what was your favorite part of the day? Uh, I don't know. Favorite part of the day. I guess walking around, just checking out all the cars. Like before everybody got here, we got to got to walk around, do a full, full walk before it got real hot. And uh, I think that was my favorite, just going and seeing all the stuff, meeting all the people. Definitely. What about you? Same. Same? Yeah. yeah. I always just like checking out what everyone's up to. And yeah. Yeah. I always yeah. get excited if I know like certain cars are coming and get to like really look at them, you know, yeah. in the flesh, not just buy photos and stuff like that. It's been a good one. Yeah. Absolutely. A couple days of awesomeness and uh, we got one good night ahead of us and then rest tomorrow, R&R yeah. &R at the beach. We need to, uh, <laughs> we need to do a bit of that. T-Rav and Rad Rides over there, beating the boys. Yeah. Killer. Signing off till dinner. All right, well, we made it back to the shop after a amazing weekend with uh, the ASRF. Honestly, we were just so spent after all that. Um, long, long days, super hot sun. Glad to be back. And uh, that's kind of it. That's the end of the video. We, uh, we had a great time. Huge shout out to all those guys that brought us out there. And um, we had a lot of fun. Everybody we met, thank you so much for coming by and saying hi. And, uh, and I just love the feedback that we've been getting from everybody out here in Australia. So very fun time, very great show. Australian car culture is just amazing. Um, it's actually wild how much of the, there is here for how uh, few American cars are here. We're gonna end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching Make Custom Unleashed. And uh, we're gonna get a little bit more filming done while we're out here as well. Uh, very stoked to uh, be working in the shop with Jordan and uh, Ben and Josh, just having a good time. So. Don't forget to like, click subscribe, hit notifications, check out the website for the new merch drops. Lots of stuff's happening over here. Really appreciate everybody. Check you later.